All righty. Hey, everybody. Welcome to my channel. So if you are new to the channel, welcome. If you're turning subscriber, welcome back. Okay, my name is Kamoy. So whether you're tuning in via Instagram, whether you're tuning in via YouTube, whether you are tuning in via my podcast or Facebook, I want to welcome everybody. Okay, so we're going to break down the vibration for today. Okay, yeah, one day away from um, what is celebrated as the Christmas holiday here, um, right? And I'm pretty sure all over the world celebrates it in their own different way, all right? Yesterday, I believe we had culture um, in the atmosphere, so we're definitely tapping into different cultures today, right? So welcome to the channel. Today is December 24, 2020, and we are vibrating on the number four, okay? Today is also Thursday, which is vibrating on the number nine, and Thursday is also ruled by Jupiter, right? So Jupiter is all about expansion, but you also know Jupiter is that lawmaker, right? So we're talking about possibilities, but we're also talking about morals and ethics, right? Now, um, Jupiter is currently in Aquarius, right? So we're talking about you being able to come from a place of, I want to say, in, being enthusiastic about family, about community, right? So Jupiter is going to be spending about a year, right, in Aquarius, Along with Saturn, you know, they're, they're doing this transit together for the next 20 years, right? And so you got Saturn and Aquarius and you got Jupiter and Saturn working together as we're moving throughout this energy, right? So today's ruled by Jupiter. So today can be filled with a day of expansion or a day with you can feel the law making energy in the atmosphere, right? Possibilities, morals and ethics may be in play for some of you today. And that's just the order of the day. Jupiter just rules Thursday, okay? So you can literally see Thursday is being lawmaker day, okay? So um, be mindful of that, right? Now, uh, we're going to jump into the vibrations, all right? This, today, we may not be as long as I normally am because y'all know I can just get into things and, and, and come on and break down with y'all what's going on in the stars and the spirit, you know? Um, however, my voice, I need to rest my voice. I did a lot a lot of um, um, recording, um, a lot of using my voice yesterday with the recordings, with the live, um, with the clients yesterday, because I had a very full schedule yesterday, along with um, different things on the schedule. Usually I have one day for clients, you know, and then I do record pretty much every day, um, but I usually only have um, days where I have clients, and yesterday everything just kind of fell all together on the same schedule so I feel like I overdid my voice <clears throat> right um so as I'm recording this you guys know I'm recording this the night prior so I do feel like today I probably you know um <clears throat> use a lot of my vocal energy so I am gonna have to rest my vocals so we're not gonna make this too long so let's just jump into this okay uh today December 24th 2020 vibrating on the number four all right so we're talking about alchemy here but we're also talking about you being able to pay attention to your intuitive nature you know how we talk about your intuition saves your life your intuition connects you to the spiritual realm your intuition your intuition your intuition every time you come to this channel and you listen to this podcast or you're watching this video please know that we are always going to be talking about your intuition because your intuition connects you to your higher self your truest self your true essence of self okay now, along with the number four today, tapping into your intuition, you can find that alchemy may be a place for you today, right? So some of you may have to transmute some things. So whether that's working self-alchemy on your mind, using your mind, self-alchemy using your words, self-alchemy using your feelings, okay? Make sure that you're doing the transmutation today. So instead of something offending you, maybe trying to get the lesson uh, today is going to be key. Self-control is going to be needed today, okay? Yeah, you're going to have to, yeah, tap into your self-control. Remember, whoever controls you emotionally is your puppet master and you are the puppeteer, right? So be mindful of that, okay? Um, reality and being realistic or realistic values is in play for some people today, right? What you consider to be real, uh, reality or what you consider if you're realist, right? Now, you do need to keep in mind as you're operating with this energy and the higher vibration of the number four that reality and being realistic is going to look different to everybody based on your environment, based on your personal trauma, based on your personal feelings about yourself, based on your personal belief system, right? So everybody reality and everybody realistic 
holistic values is not going to match up. It's really a season where you're going to have to find your community of like-minded people, at least definitely tapping into that energy within the next year, okay? Okay, you also want to be mindful that security is going to be in play for some of you today, whether this is emotional security, mental security, or financial security. You guys can see that this is um, the order of the day for some of you. Security may be your um, common theme today, okay? Now, on the lower vibrational end of the number four, you do have energy of you being unable to adapt, okay? Um, also, clumsy energy, energy that you, you, you get bored fast, um, lazy energy. Let me say this about the board energy in the atmosphere you want to watch that boredom that boredom could lead you into doing things and creating havoc and just creating a mess when there is no need to do you want to apply your energy in a um, direction that can yield you the experience that you seek okay so just be mindful a lot of people might not be able to adapt today okay now we are in that change in season so please you, there's nothing you can do about um the change change is Right about now, you need to know that change is inevitable. You can't do anything about the change, okay? Change is the only thing that's going to be promised to you, right? Now, um, you do want to pay attention today with all of this self-alchemy energy, um, really, and pay attention to what's getting under your skin, right? What's bothering you, right? What's really bothering you today? Right. So before you respond to something, you want to think about what's really bothering you, because the thing that you're responding to may not be the thing that's really bothering you. Right. So find out what's really bothering you and then you go from there. Try not to be in a reactionary space. Right. You want to be in a space where you can take in, you can understand. Right. You can process and then you can take action, not react. OK. Um, sometimes that reaction mode kind of can put you um sometimes it's needed don't get me don't get me wrong sometimes you know quick reaction is needed um however with jupiter um in in the expansion and bringing in morals and ethics you definitely will have to do that self-control because not everybody's going to be in the same thought process as you today my love okay everybody will be trying to expand their ideas um in their own way in their own community so if you're trying to expand your idea in one way and this person don't give a crap about astrology then yeah your, your idea is really not going to be received so you need to be aware of that because that's that unable to adapt energy okay now okay so thursday my loves thursday is vibrating on the number nine and you know the number nine is a very powerful number this is a number that's the one step away from being number 10 which 10 reduces down to one anyway right so this is one step away from getting the goal completed now i want to say today for you um, some of you under the vibration of the number nine, right? Um, you will see problem solving um, energy in the ear for you, especially if you're working within this energy energy of Jupiter, where you want to expand past your current situation, right? Tolerance is going to be the order of the day for some of you. Some of you will not be able to to, to tolerate just maybe some of the lower vibrational shit that you could just like not even entertain. You may find yourself reacting to some of that today. So you want to pay attention to what's getting under your skin, what's really bothering you so you can nip that in the bud. Okay, so you, your tolerance, um, although it is on the higher vibration of the number nine a day, you're going to have to really top into what you need to nip in the bud and what you can and can't tolerate. Okay. As you're implementing to these things you do need to know self-love is in the atmosphere with the number nine day and i think that's been the common theme for a couple of weeks now right self-love self-love self-reliance self-confidence self-love self-reliance self-confidence okay so um be mindful of that right and i like this vibration that we could be on today especially with jupiter in the atmosphere we're talking about artistic geniuses okay now what this is saying is if you have a creative idea today you definitely want to tap into it you don't want to allow that idea to fleet OK, which means you may have to jot it down immediately, record it immediately. Just take a little note, look at the sticky tab and put it down so when you can circle back. All right. So some people may be finding that your artistic nature is feeling more heightened and more um, um, you're feeling more at a peak, you know, new level, more inspired today. So you want to tap into that. OK, for those of you that are artists. Now, um, today on the number nine, you can find a sense of one and freedom. The question is, what are you seeking freedom from? This is why you need to pay attention to what is bothering you, what is really bothering you, what is getting under your skin, okay? Now, lower vibrational end of the number nine, you can find lack of focus in the atmosphere. You can also find people that don't really have empathy, right? So you want to be mindful of that today. Unable to say no, 
is going to be an atmosphere for some people today, which means that you could be stepping into or stepping into rather that people pleasing energy or that people pleasing mode. So you want to be mindful of that. All right. Also, you can have the perfectionist out in Roman today. OK, and let me tell you all something right now. Y'all know how I feel about that, because it is in your imperfections that you are most perfect and whole. Right. So if you're trying to be a perfectionist today, or if you projecting perfectionism on somebody, thank you, universe. Mm. That just remind me of something that I did that I was projecting, um, you know. Um, so if you're trying to do that, you're going to have to watch yourself and check yourself. And I talk to myself about that even right now because I was in my the kitchen with my son um, last night making dinner. And, um, you know, he wants to learn how to make certain things. And, you know, um, but, you know, as a mother and I, I'm a great y'all, I let me tell y'all something. I could throw it down in the kitchen. Okay. Um, so it's like the onions got to be chopped this way, you know, and I, it needs to be done this way. So me and my perfectional, my perfectional wanted this to be perfect and done this way, um, kind of took away from the fun of the experience. So when I caught that, I had to pull back and just remember, okay, he 15, you know, he not going to cut these onions or, you know, drop this oil in the pan the way I would. Okay. And really, and truly he would have preferred if I cooked the meal and then sat it in front of him. You understand what I'm saying? So just be mindful for sometimes you know um enjoying and cooking with my kids is one of my way of bonding you know um but i had to understand that it can't all be perfect and it can't always be perfect you know i want them to be comfortable and if i'm always like no no wrong way wrong way wrong way you know like that kind of can um discourage somebody so watch that perfectionist mode today if you're um overly um you know a person that feels like everything has to be perfect, especially everything has to be done the way you do it because this is a perfect way to do it and it's the best way to do it, okay? Be mindful of that as you're moving throughout the energy today, all right? All right, tapping on over to the elements, my love. We're going to start off with the wonderful earth elements because y'all know we are in earth season, Capricorn, honey, okay? So Capricorn season, my love, okay? So we are talking about Earth energy of Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. If you're not a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, you can apply this element to the Earth realm, your physical things, the cars, the house, the bills, the job, um, the children, the family, and the responsibility that comes there and that you have to take care of these things, okay? So today you guys have alchemy popping up, patience and help from above. I feel like this was this whole message. Self-alchemy is going to be key, all right? You will have to write it the way you want it, baby. Okay, patience. And as you do that, understand that there's a process to everything. Things unfold, okay? You need to know that today and help from above. So basically, you're going to have to work yourself alchemy, that mastery from within, discipline yourself, that self-confidence, right? You're going to have to maybe put in some inner, um, do some work with your inner child, all right? You will have to be able to transmute the things today that is coming in your experience that you don't like, okay? So the things that you don't like, the things that you feel is irritated you, aggravating you, right? Transmute those things today instead of irritating energy to energy of things you can learn from okay things that can put you into a new experience okay all right so now we're going to move on to the wonderful wonderful air element which is gemini libras as well as the wonderful wonderful aquarius if you are not a gemini a libra or an aquarius you're going to apply this message to your thinking your spiritual and your mental thinking all right so you guys have entrapment today you also have the wild card Okay, and then you have unleash your creativity. All right, I'm pu uh, actually pulling from the healing tarot deck today. Okay, now entrapment means that you place yourself in a situation that you do not need to be there. You created this, you can get yourself out. Okay, ain't nobody trapped. You only trapped because you think you trapped. Okay, um, you are going to have to step out into the wild and get out of your comfort zone. Do something outside of the box that you don't normally do, or figure out different ways to solve this problem versus a normal way that you would. She's wearing a red dress in this card which lets me know that this could be linked to root chakra work okay um so you want to be mindful of that okay stepping out into the wild could be anchored in your root chakra and you're afraid okay and that energy could be challenging you to be um mindful to push past that fear okay yeah you're gonna have to step out into the wild step out of your comfort zone and unleash your creativity okay Unleash your creativity. You're only trapped because you've mentally placed yourself in a trap or you physically or emotionally placed yourself in a trap, okay? That's why you're trapped, okay? Sorry. I had to drink my punch. Okay, so 
All right. All righty. Now we are going to do the wonderful, wonderful water element, okay? Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancers. Okay, if you are not a Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer, my love, you're going to apply this energy to your feelings, your emotions. These are the things that you be in your feelings about. That's the realm, okay? So you want to watch your feelings and your emotions if you are not a water sign, all right? Pay attention to your emotions, your feelings, all right? The message today is have faith, say what you mean, and dreams, honey. Okay, have faith. Say what you mean and dreams, okay? So today, some of you will have to step out of that comfort box. And every time I see this card, I really say, like, I would say have faith, F-A-T-E type faith, not, you know, that's different level type faith. So you want to step into a different level type faith and say what you mean. Like, say what you mean, you know, and I want to say, don't apologize for being who you are, all right? Uh, I think I talked about this on the live karma reading where you're going to have to create a dream bigger than you can accomplish on your own, right? Create a dream bigger than you can accomplish on your own, my wonderful water MG. You also, my loves, want to pay attention to your dreams. So for some of you, this could be your goals, your your visions, actual physical dreams that you have having when you go to sleep, okay? So for some of you, this is you being able to tap into that dream world, okay? To help and encourage you and inspire you um, to really stay your ground okay now i want to say i don't know who this is for within the water energy but you just need to know that you're going to be okay okay some of the things that you are dreaming yeah you are on point and you will be okay you just need to trust have that faith and walk not by what you see honey okay and i also want to say this my water sign sometimes you ask not because you have you have not because you ask not which means that you may have to tap into the universe and ask okay and then get into a place of gratitude so you can receive all right okay so now we're going to tap into the wonderful last but not least fire energy fire element if you are not a fire sign my loves you are going to be able to place this energy to either action that's needed or movement in your life that's needed. This is also going to be linked to um, intuitive energy. This can also be passionate or lustful energy, okay? Um, so just be mindful of that as you're moving throughout the day, okay? All right, fire energy, you got inner child work going on, rejection and cycles, okay? Inner child work rejection and cycles the message is simple i don't even think i have to break this down too much pay attention to your emotional triggers today pay attention to what is getting under your skin pay attention to what is really irritating you today that may be li linking you to some place within your inner child that you need healing from and this healing could be linked to something um as far as um, under the umbrella of rejection and it could play out in its different ways depending on your own personal war you need to be mindful of this because some of you this is something that happens right around this time every year okay so you pay attention to that cycle but some of you you are literally um excuse me guys if you are listening via podcast i had to take a drink my throat for some of you you're literally going through a um a cycle here around this time of the year where you got to do you got to do this inner work so you can move forward okay so overall common theme for everybody today is really what's getting under your skin what's annoying you whatever is annoying you you need to transmute it whatever is annoying you today you need to be able to transmute that and take the lesson that's trying to come forth versus taking it personally i know i need to do that because y'all i don't let me tell y'all something yesterday um, yeah, yesterday I had an opportunity to transmute something. Um, and I want to say I probably did not take the opportunity right then and there in that moment to transmute, to transmute it. I thought about it later though, because I allowed someone to get under my skin. Right. And I, I, I honestly don't feel like, um, I honestly don't feel like I should even give this person as much as attention um, outside of what I normally do because I really don't normally give them attention because they just behave the way that they behave. But what I can find today was I kind of played right into some, um, um, excuse me, y'all. Oh, my goodness. I'm sorry about that. Um, I kind of played into, what is the word that I'm looking for? It's kind of like, you know, when... 
you want to subliminally say something without directly saying something, right? So I kind of played into that role of subliminally saying something, um, like I'm talking to you, but I'm really talking to you. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? So I was on the phone talking to, 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 to Kelly, but I was really talking to that person, like that type of stuff. Like I played right into that yesterday, right? When usually um, I don't have to do that because this 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 relationship with this person, I, I don't just don't, they already know where I stand. Um, and, um, I've been moving accordingly, but today I allowed him to get under my skin where I had to do like, I'm talking to you, but I'm really talking to you, <laughs> you know? Um, and I feel like that person was not even warranted that type of energy, meaning like I ain't even have to waste that energy because they just, you know, like, yeah, some people operate on the Gargamel type energy and that was not energy that I needed to waste. And if you are not aware of the Gargamel energy, Gargamel is somebody that comes into your life and just wants to rain on your parade. They just want to step up all over your shit. As a matter of fact, they come find you so they could step all over your shit. Okay. Um, so that's a Gargamel. Okay. A Hazel is just somebody... Hazel on this channel is just somebody that show up, honey. Um, whenever you meet them, all they do is have negative things to say. So Gargamel come find your ass to stomp your positive shit out, right? And Hazel, <laughs> Hazel is only negative when you see them. Like, they don't come looking for you, right? So just keep that in mind. Whenever you hear me talk about Hazels and Gargamels, that's exactly what I'm talking about, okay? All right, y'all. I'm about to wrap this up. I am getting tired, okay? Um, it is definitely after 10 p.m. here on my end, you know, so it's 10 p.m. here. It's about um, almost 11 p.m. here. So you guys are going to be getting this particular video in the next hour and a half. I'm about to upload it now. OK, so once again, do something kind for yourself. Love yourself. Honor yourself. Um, happy Thursday to you. Happy Jupiter Day to you. Right. Uh, I am sorry, my loves. The full moon meditation is canceled. There is going to be a um, meditation for the new year. It's going to be on the first, I think, at 5 p.m. OK, so as soon as Kim gets the flies up, I will let you guys know exactly where the details are. Um, and how much the donation is going to be for that particular meditation. But as far as the meditation for the 28th, that is sold out. I have no more spaces. Okay. Thank you guys for the love, the support, the donations. And um, I'm going to see you guys in your next daily vibration tomorrow. All right. Once again, do something kind for yourself. Love yourself. Honor yourself. And I will see you guys on Friday. Have a wonderful day, guys. Bye.